presented by Pop Blue Ribbon. Finest beer served anywhere. And Menon, makers of world famous Menon, products for men. Welcome to the Wednesday Night Fights. Direct from ringside at the new Capitol Arena in Washington, D.C. A 10-round middleweight bout. Matched by the International Boxing Club, James D. Norris, president. Between Ralph Tiger Jones of New York City and Tony Baldoni of Wilkes Bar, Pennsylvania. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jack Drees from the new Capitol Arena in Washington, D.C., where tonight it is Ralph Tiger Jones going against Tony Baldoni, the veteran Tiger Jones with 55 fights behind them, 35 of, or 37 of them victories against Tony Baldoni, who's had 36 bouts and was the winner in 29 of them. There comes a time in the career of every young fighter when they have to ask the big question, can he go against class? And that's the question being asked of young Tony Baldoni here tonight, because Tiger Jones has been in against the best of them. He's fought Bobo Olson. He was the fighter you would call that upset Sugar Ray Robinson when Sugar Ray was starting the comeback campaign that eventually led him to the middleweight title. And so Baldoni against Ralph Tiger Jones. They're just about ready to go, so let's switch you up into the center of the ring and the ring announcer, Jimmy Lake. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The nation's capital welcomes you to another IBC International Boxing Club attraction. James Dean Norris, president and his associates. And the associate promoter for these events is Mr. Goldie Ahern all under the supervision of the D.C. Boxing Commission, Jocko Miller Chairman. Timekeeper Billy Deschard for the knockdowns, Charlie Buck. Judge this side, Julian Whitestone. On this side, Joe Bunsa. The referee is Eddie Lafon. At the present time, I'm going to dignify the ring by calling him some former great champion. First of all, former featherweight champion, Tony Canzanieri. That's it. A great welcome to a great man. A fine welcome to a great champion. Fine, Tony. This draws here. And number two, former welterweight champion of the world, Barney Ross. Former light heavyweight champion, Gus Lesnovich. And number four, and number four, the one and only, Jimmy Braddock. for these events, ringside physician is Dr. Clark B. Halstead. And here are we have the contestants. Wilkes Barra, Pennsylvania, 160, Tony Baldoni. <laughs> 157, Yonkers, New York, Ralph Tiger Jones. is Eddie LaFon, and he is giving the instructions to the two fighters. The judges are Julian Whitestone and Joe Bunsa. The scoring here in Washington, D.C. is the 10-point must system. So if you're scoring the fight, remember to give 10 points to the winner of a round, a lesser number to the loser of the round, and if the round is even, each fighter gets 10 points. Wearing the black trunks with the white trim in the upper left-hand corner of your picture is Tiger Jones with Tony Baldoni in the white trunks trimmed in black. Round number one. Baldoni in the white trunks. He's a tough and powerful fighter. He likes to come inside, which may be a disadvantage against Jones because Jones is a very competent infighter. He's going to hear a lot of racket. 
back at every time Baldoni does something well because they chartered a bunch of buses and 200 people came over here from Baltimore to be Baldoni's rooting section. He's done his training in Baltimore for this fight and the fight fans there have sort of adopted him. solidly alongside the jaw of Baldoni. Baldoni can weather a punch very well. One minute to go in round number one. of Baldoni has been reddened by the shots that Jones has been landing there. Thirty seconds left in round number one. Two. Tony Baldoni in the white trunks, weighing 160. Ralph Tiger Jones in the black, weighing 157. Baldoni has apparently adopted the strategy of keep swinging. And even though he's punching wildly, he has been landing much better this round than in round number one. One minute to go in the second round.
the combination. Ten seconds left. Bones landing good solid hooks on Baldoni. Had him staggered for just a moment. Two, what a total to finish that was in round number two. A real slump fest. Fans next Tuesday on the eve of next week's Wednesday night fight between Eduardo Lousy and Bobby Boyd, the Chicago Boxing Writers and Broadcasters Association will hold its third annual ring dinner at the Sheraton Hotel in Chicago. It's on Valentine's Day, and the writers are going to pass out the Valentines. They have voted to some outstanding figures in the boxing world who will be there in person to receive them. Julius Helfen, New York Boxing Commissioner, will receive the Packy McFarland Trophy as the man who contributed most to boxing in 1955. Sugar Ray Robinson will be honored for the top comeback of the year. And Chuck Spicer, whom you've seen on the Wednesday night fights before, and we'll see again soon as the most improved boxer of 1955. We'd like to add our own congratulations to these three top boxing personalities. Round number three coming up. The warning whistle is sounded. <laughs> Round number three. Baldoni charges the Tiger Jones. Dodging everything, Baldoni threw it in that flurry. Now we're ready for round number four. Baldoni in the white trunks, 160. Tiger Jones in the black, 157. Baldoni, big punch there to the body. I would suspect you heard that one. Baldoni now keeping the pressure on Jones. Storming in there, just throwing punches. Jones pacing himself a little more, biding his time on when to throw a punch. seconds left in the fourth round.
Wednesday night, we invite you to be our guest for the 268th Wednesday night fight. From ringside at the Chicago Stadium in Chicago, Illinois, we'll bring you a 10-round middleweight bout between Eduardo Lausi of Buenos Aires, Argentina, and Bobby Boyd of Chicago. Lausi, the fourth-ranking middleweight in the world, has a sight set <coughs> on Sugar Ray Robinson's title. The exciting Argentine boxer has won his last 31 fights, 25 of them by knockouts. Boyd, too, has an impressive knockout punch, having scored 21 KOs in 45 starts. The aggressive, hustling Boyd has lost only six times in his career, a record that makes him the eighth-ranking middleweight, so it should be a real heart-punching bout. Be sure to tune in. And remember, your TV tickets to the fight are the products that bring you the fights, Pabst Blue Ribbon Bear and Menon, products for men. Round number five coming up now. This is Tony Baldoni in his corner. since the second round has been fighting as though he is no longer concerned about the extent of the punches Tiger Jones can throw at him. He's been willing to take whatever Tiger would hand out and stayed in there swinging himself. In the first round, he took it pretty good from Jones. Then beginning in the second round, he moved in and has been keeping the pressure on pretty thoroughly. Staggering at the count of nine. Jones is swarming at him now. Ten seconds to go in the round. He'll last to the bell. All right, round number six. Tony Baldoni no longer will be so disdainful about the punching of Tiger Jones. Tiger biding his time and spacing his punches until he had a shot. Drop Baldoni. And the fight has been halted by a referee, Eddie LaFond, and Baldoni was in the blind staggers when he got up off the canvas. We will have the time in just a moment. It's a knockout. Time, two minutes, 30 seconds in the sixth round, and the winner, Jones. Another four-round bout follows. Another four-round follows. Another four-round bout follows.
time, two minutes and 30 seconds of the sixth round. The fight stopped by referee Eddie Lafon when Baldoni got back to his feet but was in obviously no condition to continue the fight. He staggered blindly against the ropes, indeed almost threw them. And Ralph Tiger Jones, who more or less bided his time while Baldoni flurried furiously against him through the second, third, fourth, and fifth rounds, caught him in the fifth to drop him for a nine count. Baldoni got to his feet then, but just barely. And uh, succeeded in weathering the round, only to come out again in the sixth round and once again fall before the dynamite of Tiger Jones' fists. Jones caught him with two quick left hooks, the first of which I think was sufficient to knock him over. The second one just helped him on his way. And Baldoni again clambered to his feet at the count of nine, but it was more by instinct than uh, actual physical ability of knowing what was going on. And as he staggered into the ropes, Eddie Lafon, the referee, looking at him, saw immediately that uh, there was no point in continuing the fight, stopped it, and the time, uh, two minutes and 30 seconds of the sixth round.